Good. <laughs> you didn't bring your knit stitch. You didn't bring your knit stitch. Quiet on the set. You. <sighs> Our chair legs are opposing. I know they are. Okay. How come you didn't? How come you didn't bring your stuff? Okay, never mind. Well, it's not cross stitch related. Right. That's why we've had knit tube before. Oh, okay. Well, I just was so focused on finding the chair, I forgot about the knitting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Lenine. Peter. We're at Always in Stitches. It is Tuesday. February 27th, maybe. And we're in sunny Noblesville, Indiana. 72 degrees yesterday. Yeah, it was really nice. It's kind of, it's still warm out today, but it's getting windy. We're getting ready to have a front come through. It's Because my, my head's going gonk de donk de donk de donk. Oh, yeah, that's why you're getting the sinus yeah. thing going on. Well, it's been a day or two since we've seen you guys. Dude, where you been? Oh, man. Um, I've been in Florida. And globe trotter. I am. I'm such a globe trotter, and I've been stitching like a nut. Stitching like a bandit. Stitching crazy. Uh, I've got a lot done, and I have some whips, and I have some haul. Mm, what else happy, do I have? Happy haul, y'all. Happy haul. So let's get started. We don't care. You don't care about what we've been doing. I got it. I do have us. Can't a, tell if this thing is focusing or not bothering focusing. Us now. Hold on. Hi. Are we? I, I think I it's feel like focused. I'm leaning. Am I leaning? Yeah, you're leaning. I'm leaning. We're both leaning. It's fine though. It's it's. We are. Yeah, this place is crazy. It just is so much fun. Um. Anyway, oh, I, we are always in stitches. Yes. And we have a personal shopper. We sell cross stitch, quilting fabric, uh, knitting, and wool applique. We punch have punch needle and sewing machines. So. If you ever have a question on anything that we're showing you, just give Deborah a call. Our website is has got quite a few things, but you can get the phone number there. So, but I got a surprise today when I came in. Peter gave oh, me. Oh, what'd a, you get? I got a camper gingerbread. I guess it's a gingerbread camper. Yes. Well, I won't be here for a day or two. So when we when I get back in about ten days. Me and Peter and Virginia are going to put our gingerbread camper together. That Thanks, is the Peter. coolest thing. You're welcome. I think, have you been to Home Goods? Where were you? Um, I got that next door at oh, uh, uh, Big, Big Lots. Lots. We have Big Lots right yes. beside us. They so had all kinds my, of fun stuff. I don't ever get surprises, so I love it. Yeah, that was a good one. That I was mean, a can good you imagine? Have you ever seen a camper gingerbread house? No, I have house? not. But Me neither. And Virginia's a... Um, has got experience putting them together, so we'll have, she's looking at us right now, we'll have her help us. Good. Since she's a professional. Good. I've only she, made one in my life. I've never made one. Oh, I don't have, ha no, oh. I, I don't have very much patience for all that uh, gluey stuff that you, the icing stuff that you have to, I don't, hmm. okay, let's get started. Uh, I think I'll start with whips since they're sitting in front of me right now. Hope I brought oh, this Oh, have one. you been working on that? I have. Oh, sweet. Well, let's start with what's on top. Okay. Okay, so this is my first whip that I've worked on wow. quite a bit. It's Snow Magical by Brenda Gervais, and here's a copy. I always take a, um, is that doing okay? Am yep, I doing okay? Yep, you got it. Yep. This is um, my working copy. I always make copies of my patterns when I, Peter is adjusting. That is not good. There we go. So, um, it's in the, I have it in a hoop, so don't mind me, but here's what I have done so far. That is gorgeous. Isn't that fun? And I'm going to put it on the stand from Chantel's 141. I already have it at home, so. This turned out a lot larger than I envisioned when yeah, I had to have yeah. it on the Yeah, because I was afraid, because we have both sizes of the snow globe that this goes on, and I was afraid, it was like, why am I getting the big one? But I take that's gonna obviously gonna take the big one, but it's got overdies and things, so and I don't remember what fabric it's on. It's an even weave, it looks like. Man, I don't Wait, hold on, let me look. <laughs> oh, let me look. Let me look. Oh, wait a minute, I wrote it down. 
Oh, I didn't write all of it down. It is a 28 count. I yep. did put that on my... So one of the, it's one of those 28 count uh, Luganas. I have a project bag from, um, it's Blackbird, some old Blackbird fabric. Oh, I love that. Okay, there's a, do you like Blackbird? Yes. So I found some Blackbird. I went through my stash at home and I found some old Blackbird. They have this list that you can get. I should have brought it in here. It's from... Geary Farms, I think's the name of it, and they have all the Blackbird charts. All of them listed, then they have, if it's oh, wow. retired, if you can still get it. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun because I went through my else. stash and kind of did that, but. Did you tally? I did, did but I don't boxes? remember. Yeah, but I don't remember. I need to do it a little better. I need, I didn't have quite enough time to, oh, I didn't use my board. I it's have around it. here somewhere. I have it, I have it. I yeah, guess because I had a, is. this is my Tammy Blaylock board. It's been very useful because um, Dawn's been using it Has during it? her demos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's been quite the, quite the okay. useful gift. Look, <gasps> look, I'm, oh, I'm. Oh, is that done? No. It looks done. I took a pants hanger that I had or a skirt hanger, whatever well, you want to call it. that's a good idea. And ironed it and I didn't want to mess it up, so. This oh, is that's Ter beautiful. What is this one? Teresa Kogan. Teresa, look at Tom. Tom. Can you hold Tom a second? I know you're kind of busy there with your coffee cup. I'm doing things. Virginia washed his coffee cup. I'm for doing me the things. Other day. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, it's strutting Tom, I believe. Yes, that's Teresa what it, Kogan. it's exactly what it is. Oh no, no, sorry, folksy Tom. Folksy. Folksy Thomas. And I'm getting, I'm getting quite a bit done there. You and, are. And you are jamming so on that. So th these little red. These, Don't drop it in I got my coffee. It. I won't. <laughs> then it'll be coffee died. <laughs> so I have these, see these two corner little doodads there? That's how big it will be this way. And it's about a square. So I've got quite a bit done, Peter. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. That is, a, and you know, the color of the fabric is such an excellent choice with this mm -hmm. because it really. What is that? Do you know? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. But it's a beautiful color. I don't it's know a linen. It. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very nice linen. Yeah, so there's Folksy Tom. I've got some, I'm going to be kind of busy the next couple weeks, so I bet I don't get much work done on it, but we'll see. Well, that's okay. I know, because I got a lot done this time, so maybe I'll, um, I got too many things going on here. I mean, okay. it's not a race. Have you been watching any floss tube? I haven't. What? I have been watching so much floss tube that I feel like I go sit in the people's houses and just while they're doing their oh, floss tube and yeah, talk to them yeah, because it's, I've watched yeah, so much of it. Yeah. Because I don't I don't watch TV, so. Now have you watched Cappy's What's New? Nope. <laughs> Cappy and Peter do What's New every Tuesday and I think it comes out on Thursday, right? <laughs> yeah. We're going to air What's New this Thursday. Yeah. And they do it every week. And Oh, that's funny. And I never watch it. Okay, so I am doing, um, this is a free chart from Pinker and Pumpkin, and you, it's not a very big picture, but it's Dreaming of Snow. That's nice. And it's on Ada, and it's one of those when somebody's at the house and we're visiting, I can stitch on it and I don't have to, I don't have to think too much, so this is all the bigger it's going to be. Oh. It's just an itty bitty little guy. That looks good. It's got a couple snowmen and things, so I haven't, I started on the snowman, but... Where's your board? Oh, my board. Darn it. My Tammy board. I feel like we need different sizes for different size projects. <laughs> oh, look. See, it's stuck on there. <laughs> oh, oh, it worked. <laughs> thanks, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tammy. I heard Tammy's going to market. Oh, yeah. Oh, she is uh, going to market. Need a work market starts Friday, I believe. Yes, the, the girls are leaving have, this Thursday. Yes, we have Deborah and Nancy are going down representing the shop. She's made all kinds of pre-orders, and there's some really neat stuff coming out. I'm so excited. Wait, wait, a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, the peanut gallery. What? They can get on the website and order. Oh, that's right. You can. You can get... Nancy's worked really hard putting the pre-orders on our website, so if you want to go on there and look for any of your favorite um, market releases, um, check it out. Okay, tell them to go to... Cappy's talking. Don't mind us. Tell them how to get there. How do you get Always there? Alwaysinstitches1.com. And you go to cross stitch and then you go to pre-orders. So yeah, shopping, cross stitch, pre-orders. That's the boss. Well, it's a little confusing. 
I it, sure is. Find it. it is. It is, because the first time I tried to find it, I couldn't find it. Oh. I did a pre-order. <laughs> Why did you do a pre-order? I did it because I want to make sure I got it. Oh my gosh, like they're never going to come in again? I got another one of those George Washington horses. I don't know what the first George Washington horse, horse That's was. okay. I was just excited to share with you. So where there's a George Washington horse? Yeah, there's a second in the series of George Washington horses. No kidding! Yes, Who's I'm it by? super excited. Who's it by? I'll have to get back to you later on that. Because I can't remember. remember off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, here's another whip. Traditional <laughs> traditional sampler kit. And this is by Mora Blackburn. It's an old retired sampler. And someone gave, gifted me the, sam the pattern and the fabric for it. And I... I got it started! Oh wow. I've never made a sampler before. Oh wow. Oh wait a minute, where's my board? Get your board. This board's kind of cumbersome. Okay. Well, we're just not, we're just not in we're not used of to using it. it. Yeah. We're not used to it. Okay, look you guys. I started over, I, I'm a middle starter. So for me to start up here, it was like out of my comfort zone. But I have the border, excuse me while I show Peter. Okay. I have, um, Two of the outside borders started in some of the lettering, and um, it's very pretty. And it's it uses all DMC, so it's not going to be terribly expensive to do. But look how big that darn thing's going to be. That'll keep you busy for a while. Uh, you think? You should see all the things I've kitted up. <laughs> I never kit things up. I kitted it home. It's because you've been watching that floss too. I know, you guys. You guys are all bad influences because I have been kidding up things. And <laughs> and the cricket cutter lady. Oh, the cricket cutter. Yeah. You know, I haven't worked. I need to work on. Why didn't I think to do that? I have a cricket cutter and I don't know how to use it, but I have some dies to put on it. Okay, what else? I've got everything on there. Okay. So there's that. Now, let's see. What's in my next whip? Coming to America. No, not yet. Okay, this is an old, um, I was in the wool block of the month with, not block of the month, wool box, quarterly box with uh, Lisa Bonjean from Primitive Gatherings. And this is a pillow called Fall. It is not available that I could see on her website or from us, but I traced it on, it came with everything, it came with a pattern and the all the wool. So I traced it on there and started it. It's got some wool applique, and then this is all specialty stitching the fall part. That's nice. Yeah. I like to mix it up a little bit, because sometimes your eyeballs go cross-eyed when you're doing too much. When you sit and cross-stitch for three or four hours a day, like I was doing earlier, it's like... So. Here's a fun one. I just started it since I... Uh, probably last Thursday or so. Probably about a week. Red, white, and bloom. Red, white, and bloom by Brenda Gervais. And I've gotten several of those finished into pillows, but I decided I was going to do one more. I think I've done all, this will be my fourth pillow off of this pattern. And I just started it. And look how much I've got done, Peter. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's real easy because it's words. So there's red, white, and bloom. It's got cute eagles, and the eagles have some straight stitches for their wings, and so that's, that's that one. I and, saw And it's on eagle. country vintage country mocha, but I don't know what. You did? Yeah, I was coming to work on Monday, and I turned out of the, out of the addition, and um, I, <laughs> I saw something in a tree that I hadn't seen before, and I was like, I was getting excited because I was like, oh my God, that's a bald eagle. And then, but I didn't want to get myself all too excited in case it was a wreck. But I knew it was. So I'm driving, looking, driving, looking, slowing down. And then I look up and I was like, okay, confirmation. Where's your white, you know, where's the, where's the white head of the bald eagle? And then I saw the white head of the bald eagle and oh my gosh, I got goosebumps. Isn't it? We have, we have a couple of nest spiders. It was magical. Oh, it was, it's amazing. He was huge. Well, I got a I got a uh, picture from my backyard the other day on Monday. Uh huh. We, and there was a baby bald eagle sitting right outside my kitchen window. Well, I'm gonna need to see that photo later. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't show it to you. They don't look a thing like a bald eagle. 
they, they, they aren't, look funny, don't they? Yeah, they're, they're very um, mottled. Yes. Like grayish, whitish, mottled looking. Juvenile. Yeah. So, and he was a big guy. Oh, wow. But we have several nests because we're close to the lake. So we, yeah. got, we got lots of uh, nests around us. Well, that okay. tells you there's good fishing in that lake. Good fishing. And we have a little pond across the street and it might have good fishing or yeah, fishing it this year, but it hasn't had. Okay, another wool applique piece. This was for my PIP this, this month. We always do the PIP program where it's projects in process. Is that right? Yeah. In progress. You Pro nailed it. Okay, so this is a old, old, old heart and hand, heart to hand wool applique that we've had before, but it's long gone. I've got the H done at the top, and I was supposed to finish the O this month, and I finished the O, except I have one. <laughs> I lied. I didn't quite finish it. I have one berry that I need to finish. Look at all those stitches. So I've got that done, and I got a check mark on my... You got a check mark this month. I did. He got a sock. He's supposed to do a sock. I knit a sock. And so he had his sock, so he actually got credit for... First. Oh, I should have brought that for, uh -huh. yarn, for mm. yarn tube. For yarn tube. Shoot. I tried to get him to bring his yarn, because you guys like to watch his, look at his, what he's stitching. Oh. Wow. Is this it? This is it. Okay, so oh, I'm not going to take it off the Q-snap. You guys can just pretend like you know what it looks like. This is Coming to America by Brenda Gervais. And I bought the kit when it came out. And the little guy at the top, the little needle minder at the top is a little pilgrim guy. And I have some of those rings on there, those magnetic rings on my Q-snaps, so keep the fabric rolled up. And I've, um, I actually have done all the water and the boat and the little pilgrim guy this week. Wow. So that's that. And it came that's in. That's beautiful. I can't wait. I was a pil I'm a pilgrim um, ancestor. No, I have a pilgrim ancestor. So it's coming to America. It looks it came in a box like this when it came out. I, it came out in 2020 for the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower. So, but it 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 was uh, it came with cute little things. It came with this little floss card that's got the picture of Bradford and all the yahoos there. Oh, sorry. Um. You know, I've decided I'm not as much of a mess as some people. All the yahoos. <laughs> well, William Bradford was one of the main I want to see the William Bradford yahoo. <laughs> well, this Mayflower wasn't very big. <laughs> no, Is this that, all the that, size no, it no, was? No, no, that's his uh, uh, Is that the shuttle dinghy? boat. The dinghy? Yeah, the dinghy. <laughs> the shuttle, the shuttle boat. boat. <laughs> it's the concierge they had, service. They had a rough time. Okay, here's a picture of the whole chart. They have very big hats. They do have big hats. I'm not quite... I'm not real sure I'm a fan of the Puritans, I'm, I'm just thinking. See, there's Bradford right there. William Bradford. Puritans, mm, they had some interesting ideas. Hey, let me see this, this guy right yeah. here. Hey, we got the same ha almost haircut. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, it's the same. Look, seriously. <laughs> you just I just need, need the, the collar well, and the mustache. The no, no, I must mustache. be related. No mustache. <laughs> Oh, you oh guys. man! I've missed Peter. <laughs> yeah, he. Um, oh, he died after his arrival. Oh, he. Yeah, he. He didn't last. A lot, most of them. <laughs> the one look, made that survived. Look how they spelled "died." Mm -hmm. D y e d. And they used um, F. And soon has an e on the end. Uh huh. Yeah. That was sixteen twenty. So and that, married has one R. Mm -hmm. Again, and hath four children, three whereof are married. It's very fun. I and just, that has two R's in it versus the one. That's very fascinating. They just didn't have good spelling. Um, I also have a, an ancestor that was the, in part of the Salem Witch Trials, which oh. had something, it was Puritans oh. that did the Salem Witch Trials in the 1630s and 40s, and I just read a book about it. <gasps> very interesting. I need, my, I need my paper back in here so I don't now, lose it. Don't you have a limited edition project mag? That you can sew that goes with this? I didn't get one. I know, I got it for you, remember? No, I don't have it. Yeah. No, you gave me the towel. What was it a towel of this? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember. No, there was a panel that was the that part of it and it I didn't get one of those. You gave me a towel. I gave you a towel. Yes. That is very put away. 
Okay, so I kitted this up last time. I bought it from Cooler Design Studio, and it's this, it says mini sampler of the month. And it, it was only online, and it was this little, and I thought, well, that looks kind of intriguing. Well, I'm doing January right now. I won't be doing any more of them. Oh, that's tiny. Well, it's not so much that it's tiny. It is tiny, but it that's not, that's not, I just don't care for it. Tell me what's at the bottom of the chart. Okay, if you guys can see this. I can't see it. <laughs> okay, Snowflakes. this is January. January, I started this on Sunday, and this is how much I have done, and I only have the very top to do and some backstitching. Well, there's supposed to be something in the bottom, and it's in blue. That blue and white and pink. Tell me if you know what that is. And I did it on the call for size of linen. Let me see. Oh, it says something. No, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, right there. So oh, that? It, it no, stuff. what are this? What are those? Those look like um, hairs. Like How those, did you know that? It looks like those rabbits that are snow hairs. Snowshoe hair. That's what they are. Now, it, snowshoe hair. I don't care for it, so I'm not doing any more of this. You don't like the snowshoe hair? I do like it. I just can't really tell. It looks like ink spots to me. Well, those are the eyeballs. <laughs> no, you know, when you look at those pictures and they say, what do you think that looks like? And it's like, ah, it doesn't look like anything to me. But it's all DMC and it was on, and, and it told me to cut the fabric. Okay, so I, I, try, I don't normally read directions, but I did this time. I got, and they told me to cut this fabric this big. Look how much fabric. And this is all the bigger it is. It's just, it's just this big. And it um, said cut because, it by 10 by 10. Is that because you got all these others to no. do? No. Are you said, sure? Yes. Oh, that's a lot of fabric yeah, if you cut so each piece 10 by 10 for I that didn't tiny like, little I know. postage stamp. I don't waste things very well. Okay, I got a question for you guys. Do you, when you're finished, no, this is going to get a little confusing. So you you do a project and you're using DMCs and overdyed, let's say, and you get finished with your project. What do you do with your DMC and your overdyed floss? Do you put it back in your stash? Now pay attention. I'm or listening. do you throw it away? Well, seeing how I, I, <laughs> I have a lot of projects that aren't finished yet, all the floss is still with the project. What do you do, Nancy? Do you keep your floss? I keep yeah. my floss. I think I was reading the same thing you were, and there are people that just, I mean, if it's a piece like yeah, two yeah. inches, yeah. I'll throw it away. But no. Well, I, 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 since I've been watching so much floss tube, I thought, okay, and I was listening to this one group and they said, well, we kit up everything and we buy new floss for every project. We, not always, but a lot of times they buy new floss even if they have it. Especially DMC and this, somebody said, I have a whole collection of DMC, but I buy new DMC. And then when she's done with the DMC, she throws it away. And I'm like, Why? what? Away? Yeah, and yeah. the the overdyes were the same. It's like I can't throw stuff away. Did you, did you email her and say, "Can no. I get on your garbage list?" No, <laughs> I just didn't here's understand. A, here's a here's a prepaid here's a prepaid envelope. Throw it away in this, and then just stick it in your mailbox. Well, I have a collection of overdyes, so I keep those all. When I'm finished with one, I I put it you know I put it back in the container yeah and my DMC the same way now yeah. I do have duplicates of some of my DMC like 310 or white or ecru or whatever but I don't ever throw anything away I even keep little scraps oh, yes. of fabric because like if I had known what I was doing here I would have used a scrap of fabric I had rather than this yeah I cut it out of a great of a fat quarter oh that's a nice yeah piece. so anyway I just wondered what everybody else does because I don't get it so are you planning on doing the rest of those no I'm doing that one and that's it and that's it I'm not doing any if I don't like something I don't continue to stitch it I'm not that <laughs> Well, I was, too many I, fun I, things to I stitch. was just curious because if you cut that out, then you would have what you needed to do stitch the rest, the rest of the rest. No, I'm not doing the rest of it. I'm not, I'm not that. I'm not that invested. I'm not that invested. Okay, so we were talking about floss, and I've never used. Oh shoot! Well, you think about that. I'm going to show. I have a show and tell. Okay, so I have this wonderful mug rug that um, one of the ladies that comes and knits here had made. It is, is that beautiful. Knitted? That's crocheted. 
I'm glad you're paying attention. It is crocheted. Isn't it beautiful? It is. I love Didn't it. Did you do a good job? Did you see the lady with the, or did you take the picture of the lady with the thanks, granny square? Thanks, Maggie Jo. That's who made this. <gasps> I love that sweater. Yes. If you go to our Facebook page, Peter took, a, is it, oh dear, is it on the Insiders page? Nope, it's on the main page. Okay, she made a sweater vesty thing out of granny squares. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Yes. Did you have, you're too young. I had an original granny square. Yes, back in the 70s. Oh, that's awesome. My mom crocheted and knitted and everything, and she made one, and everybody wanted one. And it had fringe on the bottom. Oh, wow. And I wore my bell bottoms. Oh, that's cool. Like bell bottoms. Like yes. bell bottoms. Like bell, big bell bottoms. Yeah, so anyway, Vicki Clayton Silks. Oh, shoot, I'm glad we did that. Yeah. Vicki Clayton Silks, come on I'm here bobbins. for you. Thanks. <laughs> well, we were talking about, I was Floss Tube, watching Floss Tube, and they were talking about the Vicki Clayton um, bobbins and what they store them in. Well, I have this little doodad, which, what's it called? A bobbin saver. And I have wools, wool thread on bobbins that I store, and I meant to bring it today and I forgot, that I store in this. And there's a, also a square one just like it. And they keep them very tight. And then we also have an art bin bobbin box that you can put your, any of your silks that come on oh, that's good uh, bobbins. There's all kinds of ideas out there. Um, what, I like that idea. Yeah, and this way you can see them. They, you can take them. They don't bo They don't fall out of here. So if you're taking them on a, like to a retreat or just to go stitch with some friends, you can take one of these with you. But we have both of these in the shop. We have all three of these in the and shop. And they fit in a project bag. Yeah, and they they're just real handy. But th we have a bigger one of these that I think probably everybody's seen that you put your DMC in. It's a little plastic box like that that has a little. Those are only sold at Michael's now because Doris, the company name, was bought out by Michael's two or three years ago. And they, the, another lady was using Tacky Bob. She said, this is a Tacky Bob. Uh, I think it's maybe it's a Tacky Bill. Well, Tacky Bill is something that Yarn Tree is making and Tacky Bob is Doris's brand. Oh, Doris's. You, got, you got the lowdown on that. Well, yeah, I got that. When we first lost Tacky Bob back a while back. I know, but back in the day. When it was we probably were, in 2020. When we kept saying Tacky Bill, Tacky Bob, I yeah. never knew that oh, that's yeah. why it's not Tacky Bob and why it's Tacky stuff. Bill no, now. Tacky, I didn't know that. Yes, Tacky Bob was a Doris product, and they were bought by Michaels. So you can't get those except at, now if you want a Tacky Bob, not a, they're the same thing. It looks like a CD case with... with Sticky stuff. Looks like it's like. Did you ever have those fly things at your grandma's house where they, those little flies? Yes. That, Sticky tape. Oh my gosh, that's really nasty. <laughs> grandma. Ew. Did you ever have one of those? I didn't, but grandma did. Grandma did. They brought her back yeah. porch. Yep. I brought her mincemeat in the crock pot. Yep. Yep. Sitting there yep. So, how do you know that the fly didn't fall off the tape oh, into the mincemeat? Because it had a plate <laughs> on top. Uh oh. Because oh. I'm sure my mom made sauerkraut in the garage. Uh -huh. Big 50 yeah. gallon, not 50 gallon, yeah. big five gallon crock. And then she put the sauerkraut in it. And then she put a plate and had to be a pottery plate, not a Corel, not a plastic, not a. And she and it just fit right down on that crock. And that stuff. Whee! <laughs> it smells it makes, so bad. It makes Peter smell good. <laughs> Dad, drink a cup of coffee, would ya? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some new. Th oh, wait a minute! I gotta tell you about this. Okay, so how do you say that word, amigurami? I think it's amigurami. Well, it's little. I think. It's little stuffies, little crocheted stuffies. And here's three little ducks. There's a mallard in there. Oh, she oh. has some. Peter, these are Peter's. Peter has to share them. Okay. Oh. I have another show and tell. Okay, this is from one of our um, wonderful customers. Her name is Joy, and Joy is amazing. Yeah. She is so nice and so sweet, and she shops here. You have the best customers. I do have the best and, customers. And um, she is Julie's friend, and she made these, and I mean, when I saw these, I just... Pooh and Piglet! Yeah, they're just the coolest little dudes. So it was a kit that um, she did, and how the, the back story is... 
I believe that Kathy Dreyer bought the kit to make them, but she... Her hands are bad. Yeah, wasn't able to make them, so Joy offered to make them for her, and then Kathy couldn't take them from her because... I'm not, I can't remember why, like she just... She felt bad. Yeah, she felt bad and I was, well, I don't feel bad, I'll yeah, take, take them. them. So they sit on my desk and they are the most, these well, are the coolest things. We're getting ready to have a class. A friend of mine is gonna teach a class. I think it starts in March and like the first class is the duck and then the next class is something else. But aren't those so cute? They're, they're uh, crocheted. So we're getting all the supplies in, but like I was showing you, these are the ducks. The ducks, I think, are the first Here, class. Let me get close so they can see. And um, we've ordered the yarn that goes with that. It's a cotton um, worsted weight, maybe? Or a DK weight. I'm not sure what the, I well, thought it was a rayon, but I don't know. No, or I a don't chenille. Think so. It's not a chenille. Oh, chenille. Okay. But it's a worsted weight, maybe? Okay. I don't know. I just that remember does. it was a chenille. And here is one that Peter. I print it off because you can make, e one of the classes is you can make either the horse or the unicorn. And Kayla's getting ready to uh, start teaching these classes. That's so. awesome. Yeah. I love that we have a teacher who's going to teach this Amagurami. Amagurami. Because this Amagurami. Amagurami is very popular. Yes, it is. It's, it's been a big for deal. years. It's Crochet's been a big deal coming for back. Years. You know, crochet goes like this and then it goes. Cute. Quilting is the same way. Cross stitch is the same way. Now, I'm now going. Now what do we got? Well. 40, 11, 100. What? How do we have so many patterns okay, when we going to the market? What? Oh, well, <laughs> these we are because so I've not been here. Market. Oh. Oh, this is what we've okay, got. Okay, so. Oh, oh, you found those. I did. So I'm going to kind of do this kind of fast because you guys, it, you know, I got, I got finishes to show you. So these are Statehood Splendor Series, and they are by Thread Milk Designs, and I've gotten Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, and Kentucky. Those are, we're the donut states. <laughs> What's that mean? It means that it's just the states that are around us. Oh, the donut states. You know, so huh? who's the hole in the middle? Indiana. Oh. <laughs> I just thought that would be a good way to start. They're, I love that. Um, they all, it looks like they all use one... Oh no, I guess they do. Indiana just uses one strand. I'm, I, I've got Indiana to do. I'm going to take it with me, but um, it only uses one floss. But that's, that's real pretty. So, and I've got some kind of unusual things. Like I'm a Mary Englebright fan, so I ordered this. It is, I don't know what it is. It's by Imaginating, and it's something about friends. Do you know what it's called? Can you see? Floating, floating friends. friends. Well, that looks like me and a friend of mine, so that, that could be it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm collecting the Wee Santas also for the shop, the, the um, Heart and Hand Wee Santas. I'm trying to get some of those ordered in. That's the 2016. This is one of the, tell me what it is. This Country is Cottage. Oh, it's the pastel. Pastel collection. It's the pastel collection. It's the uh, Nutcrackers. Yeah. And then I've got some Santas, some prayer school or Santas, they're a big deal on floss too. Yeah. People like to do those. So. Yeah, these are awesome. Yep. So that is, I, like I don't know what them. this one is. 2012. I gotta find mine. He's around somewhere. And this one is 2011. This is Snowshoe Santa. Now we might have from Love Snowshoe 2009 Santa. to 2024, or 23, I don't think 24 is out. I bought this one for Allie. This is the bookshelf by Little House Needleworks and the oh, Museum that's Stitcher. Nice. Little Women, Bridging Heights, Sense yeah, and Sensibility. Um, I got that for Allie because she loves she loves libraries yeah. and bookshelves and all those. Um, Did she get it authors. from you? Because <laughs> you Kathy always says you're the frustrated librarian. I am a frustrated librarian. Oh I got some calls. So it I sounds don't know like what these she are. picked it up from you, you. You tell them. I am kind of busy over here. Okay. This is February's Hearts. Shelf Life, number two of 12. And that is from, it's so Emma. This is Winter Time Cross Stitch by It's So Emma. There's another It's So it's, Emma beside you. This is Forest Lamb. Oh, sorry, that's a polar bear and a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> so much for Forest Lamb. Okay, we have Henrietta of the Chicken Club. This is the final, last is this one. one. It really 12 is. Twelve of that? twelve. Okay. No more after this. Well, here's here's one more. It's so Emma. <laughs> is it a chicken? No. Oh. Oh, it's a January shelf life. Okay, yeah. so this is the number one. There's number one, and then you saw number two. 
And here... Why would you put a snowman in a jar? Is that so you can like he's, preserve he's it? Like, no. So if you freeze the ball jar, I think it's you can a pretend. take the it's make, snowman back Have you out? never made one of these with glycerin? Well, I know there's, you know, you put a ship in a bottle? Yeah. Is this like that for um, a snowman? No. Oh, okay. I got Ben a ship in a bottle for Christmas with... What's that? Oh, I don't know. Why is that in there? I don't know. We can't show that. I know, but that's a new, it's a new pattern. <laughs> You guys, okay. Autumn Splendor, Brenda Gervais. <laughs> I love anything, that pattern. Anything with Brenda's on it, it's good. I love this pattern. Okay, cottage garden samplings. This is those fabulous houses. This is house number three. It's called the greenhouse. These houses are amazing. They're so pretty. Oh. Yes. I gotta look at greenhouse. Oh, that's fabulous. A symphony of friendship sampler by Cottage Garden. Now these aren't all new, new, new to everybody. They're just new to us. Like I think this one's been around a while. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh no, it's new, 2024. Okay, Heartstring Sampler, Beth Twist. She was at the, the what you called I went to. The, yeah. The retreat. I think you have a picture like that one. you sent me of you and her. What's it called? Lady her. Columbia. Anything patriotic. I, I gotta have anything patriotic. There's that. No such thing as too many scissors for the love of stitching. There's three little doodads on that one. I wonder if she's going to market. A ship for Mary. You want me to call her? A faith <laughs> yeah, would you? A faithfully reproduced antique sampler by Beth. Okay, now we're this is the house on Wisteria Lane series by Pansy Patch, and this is Wisteria House. I like that one. This is a really cool sampler with that ship. And now we've got um, several front new ones from um, Stitching with the Housewives. We have Monthly Way in April. Welcome Home. Cottontail Cross Stitch. I like that one. That Cotton one's very tail. cute. Oh, I like that. Oh. There's so many cool ones in here. Okay, stitch cards. This is um, set oh, S. I was thinking about getting this for a coworker. This is so fun. This is Be In My Bonnet Stitch Cards by Lori Holt, set S. I Those think, have got a lot of cute things. I think on. they would like it. You think they would? Mm -hmm. hmm. October 31st, Brenda Gervais. These are not, uh, this is 2015. They're new to us, not new to everybody else. This is a girl in her... It's because I'm watching Floss Tube, I get these darn things. This is 2022 Brenda Gervais, a girl well, at in... at least you're getting good stuff. I know. A girl in her garden. I like this one. At home, Brenda oh, Gervais. Oh, I love that one. 2022. That's the next home series, isn't it? Because oh. she did the... This is old. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm thinking of the other one that's out there already. Snow for Christmas. I like this one, too. It's cute. Yeah. It's 2016. Audrey did that one. I love it too. Okay, this is. This thing's beautiful. Okay, this is 2023. When pumpkins glow. Yeah. Now, I'm a lazy <laughs> shopper. Um, Brenda doesn't sell her things through distributors very long, or sometimes not at all. And to go on her website and check out the new stuff, I don't do a real good job of checking out to see what she's got coming unless somebody tells me, oh my gosh, you got it. So some of these I could have had originally, but I just, I was bad. I didn't, I didn't uh, keep with it. This is a 2012 ben Brenda Gervais with, oh no, that's not, what's it called? Peter and Pete. Cute. I wish I had time to do all these. Look how cute that that's is. That's adorable. Noel, Mary Noel, 2015 by Brenda. Dressed up all proper. I think I need to collect all her patterns. You too. do. She's a very special woman. Yes. She's Manor been, at she's, Peacock Hill. She's been posted on her on her Facebook or Instagram of like uh, you know the animals that are in her yard. <laughs> Love it. I have she never like met a, her. I've met Sandy, her sister. That she's a. She has like a designer. nature tube. You know, nature she, tube. I, like I call it, it nature tube because she posts like small little snippets. Well, I'm gonna need you to meet her. 
I don't, I've never, she's never been okay. any place I'm at. I also need you to meet three sisters from Moda. I've met one of the three sisters. I've seen all three of them, but I've only met one of them. You've seen all three? Mm-hmm. Bloom where you're planted. I love I like that, that saying. <laughs> Snap, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> Darn it. Just about done, you guys. When oh, do you like Diet Dr. Pepper? No. I got one at my desk. Okay. I don't drink soda anymore. Anything carbonated? I don't I blame can't. you. I, it just makes my stomach you. hurt. When witches go riding, 2024. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. That's a really good one. So that's our new patterns. We kind of went fast, but it's it's kind of ridiculous that we have so many because I've been here for a while. Okay, I have some some um, what do you call it? Paul. Haul, y'all. Happy haul, y'all. Okay, so this is from, it's a shabby fabric club. It's called P Better Not Pout. It's Ornament Club. And it goes with the book Better Not Pout by... Halverson. No. Nancy Halverson. Yeah. So what kind, this is, this, these are the ornaments. I'll show you when I've finished, but here's the ornament and here's what it comes with. It comes with all this stuff, buttons and fabric and all that. So I get two a month and here's another one. What's that got on it? Oh, it's just an ornament with, with uh, bears. Ooh, look at that pretty fabric. Yeah, and they've already cut them out. They're all cut out and they're, they've got a uh, sticky. Uh, uh, adhesive. Yeah, it's adhesive. Stick and peel. On. Iron on. No peel and stick. You have to iron it yourself. <laughs> you have to have iron. Oh, gosh. So I finished one while I was in Florida. What? You so got... there's one of them. Oh, that's adorable. And I got to show you what one of my haul on the back. I love your label. It's a, isn't that cute? I, it, this is very easy to do, but we've got the book, Better Not Pout. Okay, look what I put on the back. I ordered these from Etsy, and I don't remember where from Etsy. But it has my name on it, and you can iron them on. So some assembly is required with these cutout kits? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta do the whole thing, you goofball. <laughs> I think I better iron that some more. You I can't that? put that in there. Don't put that in there, because okay. I'm going to get confused. See? That's cute. Isn't he cute? Wow. So that was one of my finishes. That's nice. And I've, I'm in the Forbidden Fiber Co. Um... Fabric of the Month Club. Ships Ooh, every month. That's pretty. And I I haven't even opened this yet. So I got this while when I got back. And it is Lugana 28 count Love Struck. That's real nice. That's really nice. We need a board. <laughs> <laughs> We need a bigger space to film if we need Why a... is this table so small? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe can we, we order go... a bigger can we, one? Yeah. Can we? Could we? Maybe <laughs> these, talk come in, <laughs> these come in longer length. We need to I talk to I need one of those the... longer length ones yeah. for my, my... Yeah, this five foot ain't oh, cutting do it. That there. I don't think it's five foot. This is like three foot. <laughs> Hold on. One, <laughs> Peter and two, I take up too much room. Three. It's like three and a half feet. Okay, now pay attention now. We got finishes. We're almost done, you guys. Just hang tight. Just a few more minutes. Okay, I, want... I feel like we're really going fast through this. <laughs> You know, people got a lot of floss tubes. There's lots of floss tubes. Of floss. <laughs> floss tubes to watch. Well, they can just listen to it at like two times speed. <laughs> I know, that's what do I do. Do you do that? I, I don't do two times. I do one and a quarter times. Well, once you do one and a quarter, then you can do one and a half. And then once you do one and a half, you can do one and three quarters. And then once you get used to that, you put it on two. No, 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 no. But the problem is, I don't know if it's me or my phone, but the mouth doesn't keep up with the with the audio. Oh. And That's so true. they're, you know, it's like, oh, wait a minute, their mouths aren't matching. So I have to stop it and start <laughs> over. Okay, so here's a kit from last year's market. It's JBW and it's called uh, Lena Stoff's Lena's Pin Keep Pillow. Looks, our bow went bye bye. So um, we've got, I think we have three of these kits left. And so here's what it looks like that's pretty fabric. And the fabric on the, that com or everything comes with it. The cross stitch fabric, the velveteen, the floss. It's one over two. No, that's not right. It's one over one. So I finished it while I was in Florida. And the velveteen, oh my gosh. And look at the fabric that they put on the back. 
And she has nice. She has you. Um, it's a different finish than I've ever done before. They have you fin um, stuff it in the middle. And it was an interesting way of doing it. That's neat. Yep. It's JBW, and we do have some of these left, so I made this as a sample for the shop. So I love that hand-dyed yeah. ribbon. It's beautiful. That's one of my finishes. This is a little um, freebie finish. Oh, that's my <laughs> grocery list. What are you out of? <laughs> Febreze, glue sticks, oh, all the important stuff. No food. That's, <laughs> no food. that's boring. Okay, so this, <laughs> you need to put down some snacks. <laughs> October House, October House Fiber Arts. So this was a freebie. This came, this, you can get it on her website. October House Fiber Arts. Made a little ornament. So I finished that while I was in Florida. And Virginia made me the bow. So cute. And then. Love the label. I put my label on the back. That's nice. And put some um, Lady Dot Rick Rack. I mean, <laughs> pom-poms. <laughs> so I'll put this up. I'm usually in Florida during February, so I'll put this, take this back to Florida and use that. But that's a freebie if anybody wants to go to their, to her website and check it out. So here's a Lavender Wings. This is one of my finishes. Lavender Wings, I don't know, patriotic. Tis a grand old flag. It made a neat a roll and, a, and an ornament and a, I don't know what all. This is an out of print chart, so um, it's not available. I did this, look, I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. I see that. Cashel Mystic Gray 28 count. So I finished it, a lot of specialty stitches and beading. You have to check out the beads at the top, Peter, when, you, when I get done. And look what I put on the back. Made by Lenine. Look at this, look at this beading. That's so cool. It makes little ropes. It's little hanging down rope. Love that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now what else I got? Oh yeah. What else you got? I got lots of stuff. Okay, this is the pattern we've got in. The Prairie Schooler. We haven't had it very long. It's called Pumpkins. And it makes all these little pumpkin pillows. On the ins I can't show you the chart. I was going to show you. It includes the templates to make the pumpkins and the base for the pumpkins and things, but I can't show it to you because the charts are on there too. But I finished the little cat pumpkin and it tells you how to put the, this is two pieces of wool and it has a wire, a little piece of wire, oh, like wow. floral wire in there. So oh, it'll stand that's up. Neat. Mm -hmm. So you take two pieces of wool and you put a piece of floral wire in there and then glue it together and you attach it to the back with a button which I had to find the button, so, and I put my little label on there. But it makes the little, and it has nickels in the bottom. Oh, wow. They said put quarters. Well, quarters were kind of too big, so I <laughs> went and got Brett's change and got some nickels. But it has nickels in the bottom for weight. But that was kind of a fast, that little, is cool. fast little thing to do. I like that idea. We have, the, we have this orange fabric, too, here, and um, you can make... Out of a fat eighth or fat quarter, you can make all of these, and they're very cute. So we do have this at the shop. So that's going out as a sample. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is one that I'm really sad. This is Pine Mountain Designs. I was in the Hilltop Cross Stitch Club a couple years ago, and it came out every month with a new one of these little guys. Well, this is March. February's... I have one done, and I don't know what I did with it, but it comes... It, you could buy a stand, a metal, like an Ackfeld stand for these, and then you would attach them. Let me show you what the picture looks like. This is what the pattern looks like. So you have, see the metal star at the top? It was a whole stand that had a really heavy base and a star at the top, and then you tied the ribbon around it, and it really finished it off nice. You can't get those stands anymore. Oh, man. Yeah, I actually talked to Sandra at... Pine Mountain and those are no longer available. So I've ordered a couple of different Shoot. doodads. But I want this to be in Florida too because it's St. Patrick's Day. But it came with all the rick rack and everything. So that was finished. And then this is a Virginia thing. So I showed this to you guys a couple of months ago. 
This is, um, can they see it? This is a wedding sampler that Virginia had done years ago for someone and um, they decided it wasn't their thing. So um, she asked me if I wanted it and I said, absolutely. So I took their names and dates off and put Brett and I's names and dates on and finished it and had it framed at Hobby Lobby and it looks so cool. Yeah, it does. We were uh, married in 1982 and blue that, that uh, Whatever kind of blue, what they, no, what did they call that? They oh, called I don't it know. Well, I know because you were probably born in 1982. No, no. I'm not even gonna try. There's so many different shades of blue. Yeah. Delft blue. No, it was a, it was a, definitely you know, it was mauve and um, whatever this was. So I did that. I'm gonna put it in my bedroom. I love it. Okay, now I have one more finish. Yeah, I love that sample. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. You did a good job. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, You're welcome. Heck fire. You stuck? I know. I can't find it. you want me to read something? No. You haven't seen this yet. I have, but I haven't seen it finished. Oh, I know, but I mean, yeah, see, look. That thing's awesome. Oh, shoot. I love this thing. What? I don't have the pattern. What'd you do with the pattern you supposed I don't have the pattern. Um, do we need it? Uh, well, because I don't remember the little name Little House it. Needleworks. It's Little House Needleworks Freedom something. So here's what it looks like. You just dropped something, Virginia. It fell on the floor. Virginia, and, you lost a and quilt it comes, piece. It, there's a button pack that goes with it because there's several buttons. There's an acorn <laughs> button here, and there's little star buttons down oh, here. Oh, I didn't see the stars. And a little crow. sheepy. Yeah, sheep. Um, we carried this a while back, but I'm actually uh, I, I mean, re I reordered it. Where's board? Well, I don't think it. I mean, I can't hold this. Okay. I'm I hot. think this will fit on the board. <laughs> you think? You ironed it so nice. I know. So you know? I'm going to take it to Hobby Lobby. I can't do it this time, but I'm going to take it to Hobby Lobby. What am I running into? My best. My, oh. my bucket. Okay. So I got that done. So that's going to be a sample for the shops. And I ordered, I ordered the pattern and the button kit. So that'll be coming in any day now. Oh, did you see the new Little House Needleworks series? No. <gasps> Ansi! What? Do you have that needle, um, Little House Needleworks uh, new series? We were born series? in a barn, you guys. Remember that new series that just came out? Remember, that, Nancy. That got us in trouble? Remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is it called? Log Cabin Christmas. Log Cabin Christmas, you guys. Little House Needleworks. I'm just Nancy, saying. On Stop with your Facebook page. Hit pause. Hit pause. Hit pause. And then look up on your Google browser. What was it called? Log Cabin Christmas. Log Cabin Christmas. Nancy, in her next life, are, is going to live in a cabin in the woods by a, by a lake. I am so excited. Do you want to live in a log cabin too? Is. This is a watercolor rendition of what this is going to look like. This is amazing. This might get me back into cross stitch. Can you please start the cross stitch again? <laughs> Sorry I'm shaking. This is really hard to hold up this close. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Well, I want to see. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Look. Oh my god. Look at all the cabins. Do you want to live in a log cabin? Yes. Do you know who lives in a log cabin? Abe Lincoln. No, my sister in law. Kathy Have said that. Have you ever I been there? No. How come? His sister in law <laughs> and brother in law live in a beautiful log cabin in the hills of southern Indiana. Yeah. And do you think Mr. has ever been there? No. They even have a guest bedroom you could go stay in. Be nice. I am being nice. She said, be nice. You well, can, I should go you know stay to, there. I should you, go stay there. Should, I should drive there. It's beautiful. I should take a week off work and go, go stay there. there. Yeah. They said they have deer. They, oh, lots Are of deer. Are they in Brown County? No, they're uh, down by Jasper. Oh, Mitchell, Jasper. Oh, my gosh. Jasper's beautiful. They're by um, Potoka? McCormick's Creek and... No, it's it's farther Spring west than that, or south. South. Than that. Well, yeah, well, Jasper is very hilly. Oh yeah, it's they've got a beautiful place. It's yeah. it's really pretty, and it's by Potoka Lake, uh, French Lake. It's close to French Lake. Ooh. Yeah, it's just south of French Lake. I need a friend to go stay there. 
Why, why, not, why not take your wife? Well, she can come too. <laughs> yeah, they have a pretty place. We're an old married couple. Do you know how to play? I know you Pat, are. Pat and I are old married couple. I know. I know you are. It, we, you can, ever... we can sit in the same room and not say anything to each well, other for hours. Well, we do that hours. too. We do that too. Everybody does that when you've been hours. married. Hours. Well, that's uh, why you got to bring a friend, see? Have somebody right, to talk to. Well, no, you can talk to Marshall and Cindy. Oh, that's right. But they won't be there, will they? Yeah, they'll be there. Oh, in the guest house? There isn't a guest house. It's oh, just, what did you say? I said I they have a said, room in their house. I thought you said guest they house. They have a, a detached like, garage man, you could stay in, people. I guess. Um, I was going to ask you something. What was I going to... You got, what was I going to ask? Oh, yeah. Do you know, know how to play Remy Cube? Who? Oh, you got to learn how to play Remy Cube. That's what. No, I know. I do yeah. not know. You guys know how to play Remy Cube? Anyway, we're finished. We've been oh, finished so for a long time. <laughs> We've been finished for a long time, but uh, I missed you guys. Thanks for stopping by and spending a little time with us. Um, happy we got, stitching. We've got five more minutes. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I tried um, tricking her. I'll see you in a couple weeks, and I'll try to keep you Peter in line and get him to find his cross stitch. Love you. Have a good week. Bye. Bye, y'all. Crazy. Crazy. Yep.